Coming up on today's show, Bam Adebayo says he wants to finish his career with the Miami Heat. I'm going to tell you why that's as much on the Heat organization making Bam happy as it is Bam continuing to make the Heat happy on today's Locked on Heat. You are Locked on Heat, your daily Miami Heat podcast. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, welcome to Locked On Heat, your daily podcast covering all things Miami Heat. However you may be listening on YouTube, Odyssey, or on your favorite podcast app, thank you for making Locked On Heat your first listen every day. I'm Wes Goldberg going solo without David Ramil today. Uh, I've got a bit of heat news coming up for you in a little bit. But before we get to that, just want to shout out our 2006 NBA Finals rewatch. If you have not checked out episode one of our series yet, uh, please go ahead and check that out after you're done with this uh, show because... Uh, we worked really, really hard on it, and it's a lot of fun. This is not your typical recap of a game. David and I went back to the 2006 NBA Finals, the first finals in Miami Heat history, and uh, just revisited it in a fun way. Again, not your typical cookie-cutter recap. We had a bunch of fun categories, what-ifs, hypotheticals. We had a time machine, trade machine. Okay, there's a lot of fun stuff there. I think you're really going to enjoy it. We worked really hard on it, and we really do hope that you at least give it a chance. So thank you if you've already checked it out. Uh, episode two on game two comes out on Wednesday. Episode one, game one is already up on YouTube and it's in your podcast feed. Make sure that you subscribe both on YouTube and wherever you love to listen to your podcast. Now, let's get to a bit of heat news. Bam Adebayo told the Miami Herald's Anthony Chang over the weekend that he wants to finish his career with the Miami Heat, that he said he wants to be Mr. 305 2.0, which of course uh, is a reference to Unitas Haslam, who is the current Mr. 305. Um, and look, that's great. Bam should want to finish his career in Miami. It's the team that drafted him, right? They they drafted him number 14 overall. He's been he spent his entire five-year career so far in Miami, and now he's going into the second year of a lucrative contract extension, right? And so uh, for the meantime, this seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, of course. Of course Bam Adebayo is going to be in Miami uh, in the long term. But Bam Adebayo becomes a free agent in 2026. He'll be 28 years old. All right. That is typically when we see free agents, players start to explore free agency. They could technically enter free agency earlier, but players who are drafted uh, and, and particularly in the first round tend to sign that second contract, that rookie extension. Right. And so you usually see them sign that extension and then play a bulk of their career with the team that drafted them. If they're not traded or anything like that, this is when you usually see star. This is how you kind of see star players work their career. Uh, and then it's that second chance to go into free agency that they will typically explore things because they'll usually be 27, 28 years old, right in the middle of their prime. And if they're not happy where they were, then that's when they start to explore and try to find somewhere where they could win a championship or, or take that next step in their career, right? And so we saw LeBron James do that. that. This was the same free agency that LeBron left Cleveland and went to Miami. It was the same free agency where we saw Kevin Durant leave Oklahoma City and go to Golden State. So this is very much a possibility that Bam Adebayo, when he's a free agent in 2026, he's going to be unrestricted and he's going to be free to look wherever else that he wants to look, right? So what happens at that point? What do the Heat look like? Jimmy Butler is going to be, what, 35, 36 years old by that point? Kyle Lowry probably retired. Who's Bam Adebayo going to be playing with in 2026 when he hits unrestricted free agency in Miami? When he's looking around his team, is there going to be another star player that's going to be good enough to convince him to want to stay in Miami, right? And so we look at this report as, well, Bam Adebayo, if he wants to finish his career in Miami, then he's got to continue to develop. He needs to get better offensively the way that Pat Riley challenged him to, continue to be a perennial defensive player of the year candidate and all these things. And that right now is true, okay? That right now is true. And the Heat have not wanted to include Bam Adebayo in trade rumors because they are bullish on his upside. They call him no ceiling for a reason. But there will be a point where the Heat have to make Bam Adebayo happy. And that point will be in the 2026 uh, summer, okay? Now, Tyler Hero is in the same window as Bam Adebayo. He's 22 years old. Bam Adebayo right now is 25 years old. 
if there, there's a chance Tyler Hero can blossom into that second star, and then boom, you've got your two homegrown stars. You've got Bam Adebayo. You've got Tyler Hero. You've got Jimmy Butler at the tail end of his career, still likely in place at that point because nobody's going to trade for that salary at that time. So uh, at, that could be enough to keep Bam and make Bam want to stay in Miami. But you look around the league, and the reason Miami has been involved and some of these star trade rumors is because star players want to play with Bam Adebayo. And you can't bank on Tyler Hero taking that major step and Jimmy Butler continuing to push his prime into year 35, year 36. You can't. You can't count on that. And the Heat have been in on this star talk because they recognize that they need another star, right? I've said this over and over again on this show. The Heat are desperate for another star. They're desperate. They promised Jimmy Butler when they signed and traded for him, that they would find a second star to pair alongside with him, right? Well, they are going to have to, at some point, find that other star to pair next to Bam Adebayo as well. Now, maybe Bam emerges as that star that Jimmy Butler was waiting for. And if that's the case, that's great. That keeps Jimmy Butler happy, and that keeps this team competitive in the near term, in the next two or three years. But at some point, Jimmy Butler is going to age out of this prime. And that point's probably coming up sooner rather than later. And at that point, who's going to be that other star? Maybe it is Tyler Hero. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. And this is what the Heat recognize and why they have been so desperate to get a star. Because they recognize that long term, to remain competitive, that they're going to have to pair Bam Adebayo with somebody. They believe Bam Adebayo is a cornerstone of the franchise. They already told Bam Adebayo that they would not include him in a trade for Kevin Durant. Partly because they believe in order to remain competitive, even with Kevin Durant, that they need Bam Adebayo. But the other part of this is that Kevin Durant wants to play with Bam Adebayo. Kevin Durant included the Miami Heat on his list of uh, preferred destinations, the list of two, Phoenix and Miami, because he wants to play with Bam, right? I think players respect Jimmy Butler, but they're not flocking to play with Jimmy Butler. Bam Adebayo kind of feels like he's that guy that people want to play with, star players want to play with Bam Adebayo. Kevin Durant said publicly when he was on Team USA with Bam, of all of his teammates, he was most impressed with Bam Adebayo. We've seen Bam Adebayo and Donovan Mitchell. The Heat are in on the Donovan Mitchell rumors in part because Donovan Mitchell is one of Bam's best friends. They just linked up at Miami Pro League this last weekend, and that caused a storm in Miami. People speculating whether or not Donovan Mitchell was about to come to South Beach, right? You've got it at the Miami Pro League arena... You've got fans cheering Miami, Miami, Miami at Donovan Mitchell. Kevin Durant wants to play with Bam Adebayo. Donovan Mitchell wants to play with Bam Adebayo. Now, Donovan Mitchell probably ends up with the New York Knicks, okay? That seems more likely than not. Kevin Durant, still on Brooklyn. Does he end up in Miami? Maybe, but right now that looks really unlikely, and we've already heard that the Heat are kind of losing hope on that and ready to move forward with this as the team. But those are not going to be the only two stars that come available, probably not in this next calendar year. Another star will become disgruntled, and another star will be available on the trade market. And that star, if he looks at Miami, will likely want to play with Bam Adebayo. Now, here's the other part of this. Miami should want to keep Bam Adebayo. Now, I know there's a, a segment of Heat fans that say, you know what, he needs to be better offensively. He needs, he, he does, they call him no ceiling, but he has a clear ceiling. He's never going to be that offensive player. He's never going to be that guy. Here's what I do know. I don't know if Bam Adebayo will ever be one of the top 10 players in the NBA. I don't know if he'll take that Nikola Jokic leap where he finally becomes more aggressive offensively and becomes a powerhouse on that end. I don't know that. What I do know is that other star players want to play with Bam. And I do know that you need homegrown stars in order to win championships. Look at what Golden State has done around Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. Look at what Boston just did getting to the finals. They've built around Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Those are all homegrown guys. You can even look at what Miami did during the Big Three era. Dwayne Wade was homegrown. Maybe Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh could have all teamed up in New York. Maybe they could have all teamed up in Chicago. Do you think they would have had nearly as much success as that group did in Miami? No way. Absolutely not. Why? Because you need a homegrown star. And we can get, I won't even bother you with the, the, the cap gymnastics and the CBA weird stuff where it just makes it nearly impossible to actually build a team with depth if you're acquiring all three of your big three via free agency or trade or something like that. It just makes it a lot harder. Look at what the Lakers are doing, right? The, none of their guys are homegrown. They, want, they did win a championship, but man, they're having a really hard time keeping that team together. And it's been largely, I think, even with the championship, kind of a disappointment, especially for some Lakers fans, okay? It's really hard. You kind of need that homegrown star 
to build around. Dwayne Wade was the tent pole franchise player when LeBron James and Chris Bosh came in. Not only did that make things easier for the Heat's front office as a, from a team building standpoint, but Dwayne Wade was also here. He knew the culture. He knew what it took to win. He knew what this organization stood for. And it was and as a peer of LeBron and Chris Bosh, he could be that communicator. He could be the liaison of the of Heat culture and what it was that LeBron and Chris Bosh were trying to find. You've seen other players try to create a culture, try to create a winning environment, try to create a team out of thin air. Look at Brooklyn, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, James Harden. They tried to create a team out of thin air. It didn't work. Why? Because none of those players were homegrown. Because none of those players had any vested interest in the organization. And they were all out for themselves. Dwayne Wade had a vested interest in the organization. Bam Adebayo right now has a vested interest in the Miami Heat organization. How do we know this? Because he keeps saying it. He keeps telling us. He wants to be with the Miami Heat for the rest of his career. He wants to be Mr. 305 2.0. That sounds like a vested interest in the organization and in the city. When you're playing for something bigger than you, that makes you not only, and, and you are a star player like Bam Adebayo is, that makes you somebody that people want to play with, and that makes you uh, the, the kind of tentpole type of cornerstone player that will make other star players successful, and they know that, and they know that. Now, again, Bam Adebayo becomes an unrestricted free agent in 2026. Between now and then, the Heat have to show some promise. Hey, here's what the future of the Miami Heat organization looks like. Because the current part of the Miami Heat, like the, the now, the this and now, looks good for the Heat, right? I don't know if they'll make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals. I don't know if they'll make it to the Finals. I don't know how they maximize this Jimmy Butler window. But I do know this. They're going to be really competitive. And they're probably one of the best four teams in the Eastern Conference, even with losing P.J. Tucker and not making a big splash this offseason, okay? Because Jimmy and Bam and Tyler and Kyle Lowry, they're all that good. And Eric Spolstra and this organization has a winning type of environment, and they are that good, that this team will be competitive. But now to 2026, that's four years, man. That is a long time, and a lot can happen. And players can get really old during that time, and players can become a very unhappy in four years. We see players become unhappy in 12 months, okay? There is no guarantee that when Bam Adebayo says, hey, I want to be Mr. 305 2.0, I want to finish my career with the Miami Heat, just because he says that now does not mean that that's how he's going to feel later. How many times have we seen that reversal from other star players? So Bam has to keep the Heat, the heat happy right now with his development. That's the way he stays out of trade rumors, right? That's the way he stays in Miami in the short term. But how does Bam stay in Miami in the long term? That is going to be the Miami Heat keeping Bam happy. So right now, it's on Bam to keep the Heat happy. But by 2026, the tables will turn. And it's going to be on the Miami Heat to keep Bam happy. That'll do it for today. Remember to like and subscribe to Locked On Heat on YouTube and wherever you listen to your podcast. Comment and leave a five-star rating and review. Reach us on Twitter and at, uh, at Locked On Heat and by email, LockedOnHeat at gmail.com. Thank you for making Locked On Heat your first listen every day. Uh, for your second listen, stay up to date on the latest news and rumors in the NBA in just 30 minutes every day with Locked On NBA. Locked On NBA is your daily NBA update in just 30 minutes. Also, if you have not gotten a chance to listen to episode one of our 2006 NBA Finals rewatch, please go ahead and check that out. It is on YouTube. It's wherever you listen to Locked On Heat on your podcast apps. Uh, and episode two on game two will be coming out first thing Wednesday. This has been Locked On Heat. Thanks.